Today we're with Stephanie Lyon and we're talking about making intuitive food choices for gut health. Stephanie is on a mission to help people lead healthier, happier lives. She's a mom of two and she lives in the Boston area. She has a passion for all things botanical and believes in practicing health and beauty from the inside out. For 15 years, Stephanie has been a leader an online business owner with Arbon International, a B Corp that has its roots in clean botanical formulas for 40 years. From skincare to baby products to highly effective clean eating programs, Stephanie loves helping women and families make healthier choices simple. Welcome, Stephanie. Thank you, Sandy. It's great to be here. So, Stephanie, when it comes to making intuitive food choices for gut health, Let's just start with gut health. What is gut health? Why is it important? Well, gut health really uh, will show up in our overall health and our energy. And gut health is really having that balance in your microbiome, in your, you know, your large intestine, your small intestine of the good bacteria and the bad bacteria. And there has to be a really good balance instead of having one overpowering the other. And our health shows up not only in our, in our skin, in our energy and all of that. Uh, you will feel it if you're, if you're out of whack, you know, you might have, you might be bloated you might feel just lethargic, you might have headaches. Uh, you know, there's a lot of symptoms that can that can come with that. So uh, making sure that you're that you're eating foods that support your gut, uh, in and in a variety of different foods is going to give you a, a more complete and uh, thriving microbiome, as we say. <laughs> so we could really be more intuitive by actually seeing how our body responds to like individual meals and what we're consuming? Yeah, and I think it's also being aware that not all of these things that we experience, you know, between being having headaches all the time or being dehydrated or not sleeping well or having an upset stomach or acid reflux, um, you know, uh, some of the things that, you know, skin breakouts, uh, a lot of times when our gut is way out of whack, well, you know, people will have bad skin. I mean, it's showing up on our face, you know, what's inside is showing up on our skin. So instead of just saying, oh, it's just something that happens, you can, you, you want to say, hmm, is there something I'm doing that's causing that? So I think it's really important to pay attention to those things. Yeah. So what are kind of some of the food choices that um, are associated with with bad gut health? Well, some of the things that are associated that can cause inflammation that we also crave a lot and that are around us everywhere. I mean, fast foods, processed foods, uh, dairy really causes inflammation. I remember when my son had terrible acne and breakouts and he was, you know, just eating, drinking so much milk and ice cream and we, we found that correlation. Uh, you know, uh, too much alcohol, uh, caffeine, which is highly acidic. We love our coffee, uh, but coffee is very acidic. And uh, the foods that cause acidity will cause inflammation, which can make us more prone to disease and, and a lot of those symptoms. So some of the little things or things that we think are little, um, you want to pay attention because it could lead to something worse. Yeah. So what are some replacements then for, um, you know, the, the white foods. <laughs> which yeah, exactly. uh, so, well, the first, oh, refined sugar, I forgot to mention, that's a big one because it's in everything, right? And uh, we love our sugar in, in America. It's added into everything. So you've heard this word a lot, detox from some of those things so that you're not craving it. And then you'll start craving the good stuff. And that's one of the things that I do. I help people with a clean eating program replacing some of those other foods we talked about with a variety of, you know, you know, how many, how many fruits and vegetables can you eat? We've heard that a million times, but it's, you know, it's the, the colors in your fruits and vegetables are parts of, you know, show up as the vitamins that are in them. So that's why we want a rainbow of, of them, because you're going to get a balance of vitamins that's healthy, healthy for your gut. It's going to give you lots of fiber. They're crunchy. They taste good. You can make them in a million different ways. Um, I actually just got an air fryer, so I'm super excited to try that because that, that I haven't, I haven't done that. Uh, so vegetables are really great. You know, have your hummus handy, have your little carrots, uh, ready to go. Uh, having gluten-free, you know, gluten-free is a good thing. Also, even if you don't have celiac, you know, there's a lot of crackers, rice crackers are tend are usually gluten-free. Um, they're crunchy and delicious rice cakes. 
things like that. You can put nut butter on rice cakes and some fruit. Uh, you can do different things with that. Uh, eating more beans and beans and rice, consuming less meat, more plants, you know, uh, and drinking lots of water is really important too. Uh, adding lemons to your water, things that will help uh, give you lots of nutrients in your diet, but just you're going to have to have them handy and ready to go and have gone shopping for those things so that you're not grabbing for the easy stuff. Perfect. And, you know, they also say that gut health is really um, tied to stress and anxiety and depression. So when you improve your overall gut health, you improve so many other aspects of your health too. Yeah, it's so true. Um, I'm glad you mentioned that. And just brain fog and uh, those kinds of things. So, you know, I feel it's really important. I actually don't eat a lot of meat anymore. Uh, and I, I feel so much better. I can see it in my skin. I can, I feel it in my energy. I don't, you know, all of those things. I actually follow my own advice <laughs> and I, I did, I did my, my hundred percent, my clean eating program this past month of January. I feel great. I've lost a few pounds, but it's like energy and just all of that. Uh, as Americans, we eat too much protein and we're thinking that meat is the, how you get protein. No, there are, there's protein in plants and there's in all kinds of plants and different varieties. Uh, I do love supplementing with my delicious vegan protein shakes. I have some great recommendations on that. That's a great way to also supplement and start your day off. And I also tell people too, if you start your day off well with, you know, a vitamin packed a protein a meal, then you're going to tend to make better choices throughout the day. Well, thank you so much. These are all really great tips. And you can contact Stephanie, you can um, ask for her advice. Um, she has various products from Arbonne that she offers, and she can set up a whole plan for you. So you can find her information below. And thank you, Stephanie, so much for joining us today. Thank you, Sandy. Thanks for having me.